Chris Watkin here with Matt Giggs, our estate agency Supremo. Uh, Matt, one of the biggest problems at the moment in the estate agency is attracting great staff yeah. and colleagues. Yeah. How do you attract great people to your estate agency? Talk to me. Well, what is a great estate? What does that great person look like to you? So, for example, if you, I had a guy ring me up, or I spoke to at the end of last week, and he read out his job description to me. And I said, would you apply for that? And he was like, well, no, when you put it like that, no, I probably wouldn't. What would, what would excite you? So, for example, you've got to know who are you looking to attract? Okay, what kind of person? Mm. Not the job, not the, the title. Okay. Everyone's gridding titles and jobs. And, mm. oh, it's like the self-employed thing. If I'm honest, the business owner model's been around for years, right? That's what it is. It's a business owner model. Now, you can go into business on your own or you can be a part of a team. That's entirely up to you. Some suit some, some suit the other. Coming back to the job and attracting the right people, you've got to know who you want to attract. It's the same as anything in marketing. So who do you want in your business? What kind of person, what kind of values, what kind of behaviors? What will they love? What will they enjoy? What will they appreciate? Get those things across in your advert and you start to talk to the right people. You can rule out the wrong as well. Because if you've got a clear vision and what you stand for and what you represent, so there's no point me hiring in the mercenaries, the people that are just in it for themselves, they want to earn lots of money. You will fail in my organization straight away. If you're someone that loves to tell people how good you are, then you're not going to make it in my organization. If you're someone who really likes to criticize other people, don't like working in a team, you know, and you're showing those blame traits from the interview process, then you're not going to work well in my group. So you can really rule in and rule out people in your interview process. But the, the, the clearest way to attract the right people is to know exactly what kind of organization you are and you're aspiring to be. And the, if you get the language right and the words right, that'll attract the right people. I had Zoe Bywater on the sofa a few weeks ago and she said for, for years she was hiring on skills and she was losing people left, right, and said I got 20 people in a, in a year, 20, 18 months. Right. But then as soon as she interviewed on and looking for attitude, yeah. it changed. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think it, it used to be skills. So if you'd done the job, um, and, and I still get this from recruiters, they ring me up and say, I found this person, they've got this, that, and the other, and everything else. And it's like, okay, tell me a little bit about them. Why are they looking to leave where they are? Tell me why they would want to join our organization. If you can't answer those questions, don't recruit for me. You know, let's get it right. Skills, are, of course, they're important if you're hiring people for experience. But really, what isn't there that's difficult to train in a state agency? Right. So how do, you do, how do you judge that? It's not as simple as just doing an advert. And obviously, you need to sort Video. of finish it out. Talk to customers. Who's your best, you know, who would be able to extol the values of your organization better than people that work for it already, right? So... We've just done a load of filming. We've got a gigs group video going out, which will have everybody pretty much in the whole group talking about the reason why they enjoy where they work, right? So for me, you've got people in your business who are your best recruiters, if I'm honest. What? That's quite clever. So you're actually getting your team to say how wonderful it is. Yeah, they just which means genuinely, that... right? They haven't been set up with any questions. They've okay. been filmed and asked questions and they've given their true answers. And then you're going to put that out, which means instead of you having to go to advertise for people, yeah. people will be naturally attracted to yeah. you because they'll say, I want some of that shit. And they'll look at that person and go, that sounds like me. You know, that looks like me. That's the kind of place I want to work, you know. So by the sounds of it, you're actually recruiting people before you actually need them. So you have right. a bank of people. So talking about attracting... Um, Honestly, you've got to keep, this is the message from Friday night I sent to one of these guys, great guy as well, and I'd love to work for him if I was an agent, but when you looked at the job description and compared it to, to who he is and what he believes and what he does, it was like, well, that doesn't represent that. So he got on camera, he'd done a video, and it was way better than the job description. Now, the next step is getting your people to be able to talk about mm. it, right? Because you're about to say it as the business owner, it's a great company to work for. You know, that's probably why I, I went undercover more in the last two years, because I actually wanted to work on the things that we weren't so good at. And one of the things was getting the right people around us to fit our culture and fit our values. And actually, when you've got that, it's a lot easier to have them talk about the company, the organization, because it's true, not bullshit, 
right? There's no point talking about how great it is if you don't, you don't genuinely believe it. And there's, no, there's nothing wrong with not being on board, right? That's, that's absolutely fine. But let's have the conversation. Let's not hide away. Because um, not everywhere is right for everyone. <laughs> you know, and it shouldn't be. It should be hard to recruit. That's why you've got to do it consistently. Thank you for your time today, Matt. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.